To Davis we go, specifically the UC Davis campus where thousands of dollars worth of instruments have been stolen from music students earlier this month. The crime happened in what was supposed to be a safe storage area. Tonight we're getting answers on how idled hands were silenced by the suspects. And I had my banjo on this side. Amy Aguirre's last quarter on campus is ending on a somber note. The graduating music major had her banjo stolen from this storage locker at UC Davis. This is supposed to be a safe place and our instruments are supposed to be safe in there. The instrument has a lot of sentimental value. My banjo is my dad, so it also meant a lot to me. And she's not the only victim. All in all, we've had about seven students impacted by this. Phil Daly with the Department of Music says it appears the thief entered the music building sometime over the weekend when the doors are supposed to be locked. Somebody had come in with bolt cut and knocked a whole bunch of these students' padlocks off. This saxophone used in the school's jazz combo is another instrument that was stolen, along with two cellos, a violin, a trumpet, and a guitar. Each instrument was owned by the students. It is really unfortunate. Most of us um, can't really afford to buy a new instrument, and these instruments are not very cheap. The crime comes at a crucial time for the victims. And this is the end of the school year, and many of these students are in the final couple of weeks before a concert. The lockers were just installed last summer, allowing students to store items that are cumbersome to carry on campus. The people don't have cars, and taking a cello on a bike kind of seems impossible. <laughs> now the music department has taped them off and they're now looking at new options to try and stop this type of crime. We're in the process of reassessing the location of those because I think that it would be more secure to have them behind another set of doors. That'd be a good idea. What a bummer. The total loss is estimated at around $20,000 and so far none of the instruments has been recovered and no arrests have been made. So frustrating.